been done and dusted before the actual pre-season starts, which is Sunday. Um, I'm looking forward to it now, um, especially the additions that the gaff is going to be making. Uh, they're going to be very exciting players for the team, very exciting players for the fans, and I'm sure they're going to they're, they're going to make this team um, and the squad a lot better than what it, it was last year because it was a very good squad last year. Reported a lot of interest in your services. Why did you decide to stay with Southend in the end? Yeah, I was fortunate enough to. I've had the most uh, most interest I've ever had, probably in the double figures as far as team wise, uh, League One and League Two. But I said to my agent, uh, "Let me go away on my honeymoon, uh, enjoy my break, seeing as I wasn't going to get much much time off." Um, so I had a great great time. I was away for two weeks, and then it took me a couple of couple of days to get back to normal once I got back with the time difference and stuff. So. Then I started to sit down with my agent and talk about what, what the situation was as far as uh, clubs, but I, always, I was always adamant I wanted to know what was going to be the situation with Southend first. I feel as though I've, I've started a, a really, good, some, uh, really good career here with Southend. Um, the fans are really taken to me now, um, and I feel as though I'm, I'm working really well with Phil Brown. It first of all started with Paul Starrick when he first took over and he, he got the club to the playoffs. But Phil Brown has gone and gone on a, and done that a lot, a lot, lot better now with us getting promoted. Um, so I feel as though I'm I'm working well with Phil Brown. Uh, he seems to be bringing out uh, the best of me. So hopefully, long may that continue.